Ah, draw your knees to your chest and circle your knees. And go the other way. Pulling your right knee into your body, send your left leg up and start to flex and point your foot. Hold a nice deep dorsiflexion and circle the leg. Go the other way. And then send it down to the earth. As you draw your right knee in close, make that left leg heavy and then circle the right knee. Lengthen through the neck and soften your shoulders. Go the other way with the leg. Open it up to the right and smooth down your torso and left leg and hip, the whole hip flexor. And then take your right hand under the right upper knee and push the leg into the hand and the hand comes back at it with the same pressure for an isometric contraction here. It's eccentric, I'm not sure. And then let it relax and notice that it opens a little more, but be cautious. Take a deep breath. Relax into your new depth. And then bring the knee into the midline. <clears throat> Shift your hips over to the right and twist. Send your right arm out to the side as you look to the right. Take another deep breath, rolling your outer right hip down. And exhale. Just relax here. Let the body get used to this twist. And allow the breath to get more full. As you roll onto your back, Wrap into eagle pose, right leg around the left. So coming onto your back, wrap the right leg around and then bring the right arm under the left arm. Elbows stacked on top of one another. Knees move away from the torso. Elbows move toward the crown of the head. As you exhale, crunching elbows to knees. Inhale, open the whole thing up. Exhale, squeeze as you draw the navel to the floor at the same time. We'll do 10 on exhales. Nine, eight, exhale, exhale, and five, and four, and three, and two. On one, you're gonna hold, push knees to elbows, elbows to knees, squeeze the tummy. And lower the head and shoulders, unwrap your legs, hug your knees into your chest, pull. And once again, come back to circling the legs. Circle those knees apart, away, together, and in. And then go the other way, together, away, apart, and in. Wrapping your fingers around your left shin, send your right leg straight up and start to open up that foot, flex and point. Find a nice deep dorsiflexion, opening up the sole of that foot and circle the leg. And go the other way. Stabilize the leg in the center and send it down nice and slow to the earth. Let that leg get heavy. Pull the left knee closer to your body and circle the knee. Abdominals softly engaging here. 
go the other way. And that's going to help steady the core. Pull your leg over toward the left and smooth down your torso and your right leg with your hand, that right hand. Mm -hmm. And then your left hand under the left leg, press leg into hand and the hand meets with equal pressure. Find that contraction. Notice how that engages, can engage all the way across your abdominals. Try to keep your neck out of it. And then release and breathe into the new level of flexibility here. Go slowly, you don't wanna overdo it. It can be very exciting. Just wanna give it a little encouragement. Bring it into the midline, guide it there so you don't overdo it. Shift your hips to the left and twist across. Reach your left arm out to the side and look out to that hand. Melt your shoulders down and away. And with your right hand, smooth your outer left hip away from the waistline. You might feel that IT band here. Tension in that outer left hip maybe. Let your shoulders get heavy. Take a full round of breath. Let your body adjust to this shape. Noticing at first there may be some constriction. And as you get used to it, the breath is able to fill in more space. Reaching through the left arm to assist you, you'll roll to your back. And as you do, you'll cross into that eagle. Left leg wraps around the right. Left arm swings under, or if you prefer, under the right. Or if you prefer, you could cradle your head to support your neck. Elbows come up to knees on an exhale. Inhale, open it up. Exhale to close. Inhale, and we'll do 10. Coming up, nine and eight. And seven, squeezing the midline, six, five, four, pulling the belly down each time, three, two, come up and hold, elbows to knees, knees to elbows, squeeze it. And release it, let it go. Hug your knees to your chest. Ah. Eco flat. Fingers reach toward the feet, and you're going to raise your hips up into a bridge pose. Squeeze the right glute and let it go, and we'll alternate. Squeeze left, squeeze right, and you'll just alternate from side to side so you can isolate right and left glute. Five more each side, four, three, and two. And one, and then slowly come down. Can't see some out of the room. You can't park them. No. Come down. You're not done already. And reach your arms up and back behind you. Stretch your fingers all the way back. Widen your feet apart and take your knees to the right and center and left. And center, let the knees fall in. Toe heel your feet on the ground in toward each other. Reach your arms forward, curl your tailbone under and come on up, try to leave your feet on the ground as you lift up into a seat. Lift one foot and then the other, try to balance. <laughs> Interlace your hands and do Russian twists here from side to side. Keep the legs together or you can put a block between the legs. 10 each side, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
Five, four, three, two, one. Now place the feet down. You're gonna turn all the way to your right side and bring your chest and chin down to the floor or nose. And then push up. Turn all the way to the left side. Bring your face down to the floor and push up. Let's do this a couple times. All the way to the right and down and up. <clears throat> all the way to the left and back up. One more time, go side to side. Good. And all the way over to the other side. Good, come on up, remove the block. We're gonna kick those legs back and stretch into a down dog. Walk your feet in a little bit and take them wide. And we'll do some push-ups here. Bend the elbows and straighten. So come down for three, two. It's from a down dog shape, or you could be on your elbows. And one. And then walk your feet forward up to your hands. Inhale, length into a flat back. Ah, oh, such a nice change from our rounded selves. And then fold, squeeze your abdominals as you fold in. Inhale, lift through the chest to rise up. Grab that left wrist, bend over to the right. Look up to your left. Inhale to the middle. Grab that right wrist, pull up and over to the left. Gaze at the right. Inhale, reach, and then take your hands behind your lower back, buttocks area, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then drive your fists down towards your heels as you open the chest up, look up and back. Bend the knee, bend the knees, sorry, my voice broke, <coughs> and fold forward here over your legs. Wrapping that fist overhead, Rest the hands on your back and just switch the lacing of your fingers and then straighten those arms out again. Bend the left knee and send your fists over toward the left. Look to the right. And center, move your fist over toward the right. Look to the left. And then straight down the middle. <sighs> Release your hands, step back with your feet, plank pose, hold. Toes are tucked under, heels straight up toward the sky. Micro bend the elbows, pull on the lats. Armpits move down the side body. Neck is long, squeeze your hips together. Move your chin forward, lower halfway. Point your toes, roll through your chest, open it up. Exhale over the feet, down dog. Pushing through the hands, lifting your seat. Ujjayi breath here. You could do child pose alternatively, or you could be in dolphin. Or forward fold. Walk your feet forward up to your hands. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, flushing out here. Use that exhale to help you start detoxing now. Inhale, rise up, circle the arms. Grab that right wrist up and over to the left. Look up to the right. Inhale, up, grab the left wrist. Look up to the left. Stretch it. Feel that nice arc. Inhale, up to the middle. Interlace your fingers, the weird lacing first. Open the chest, head back. Bend the knees, fold forward. Bend that right knee, turn toward the left, send the fist to the right. And center, bend the left knee, send the fist to the left, look to the right. And center, release your hands, inhale, look forward, step right and left foot. 
back into plank. Bend those elbows, chaturanga, upward. Mm. And downward, facing you, breathe here. Enhance your breath as much as you need to to make it your focus. And then walk your feet up to where your hands are. Inhale, pull the heart through. Exhale, melt down over the legs. Squeeze torso to thighs. Inhale, rise straight up. Palms come together, hands fold to heart center. Pause here, feel the shoulder blades on the back, the elbows wide. Feel your big toes push into the ground and maybe even contract the knuckles of the big toe, scrunching up your mat a little bit. This will help you feel your glutes. Feel the crown of the head rise. Blink the eyes open, bend the knees. Fingertips dust the floor and then they rise up by your to the ceiling, biceps around the ears, chair. Sinking low here, palms come to the center, left elbow outside of right leg, twist. Look down to the floor, open the arms up, left hand to the ground or somewhere, maybe a block right arm high. Spike your left heel and ease that left foot back into a lunge. You can move your left hand over to the inside under your shoulder or leave it outside the foot, right arm high. Reach your head forward, open your chest. Liberate that spine. Sweep that top arm over the ear, stretch here. Twist. Bring the right hand down to the mat. Slowly start to straighten that right leg. Hold over that front leg. Maybe lift those toes up to the ceiling. Guide your tummy over the right leg. Rebend your front knee. Pull the spine nice and long here. Feeling that contrast, that left inner thigh long too, moving in the opposite direction. So you get a really nice opening in that inner left groin. Step flank, low push up, up dog. Or a cobra pose here works, and then down dog. We'll come forward right away, lift your heels, bend the knees. Head forward to your mat, top of your mat. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, fold, drop your head. Shake out any neck tension. Ah, shake out any stress. Ah, and bend the knees, raise the arms up. Fold the palms, right elbow outside of left leg. Nice twist here. Organize your hips, square them off. Open the arms up. Spiking that right heel. Slowly glide that right leg back. You can move the right hand over or leave it where it is. Inhale, send your head forward. Exhale, nice twist here. Squeeze the butts, the hips together as you turn. Good. Top arm over the ear. Press back through the right heel. Free your spine. Twist here. Squeeze that left knee a little more to the midline. Mm -hmm. Left hand comes down and pull both legs straight. Turn your tummy, so engage and twist over your left leg, lift the toes. Or not, if that's too extreme, move them down. Lower the toes, but engage them. Squeeze your toes, crunch up your mat, bend your left knee. Press back through your right heel and get that nice deep groin stretch as the heart moves forward. Place your palms, step your left foot back, squeeze your midline, bend the elbows, inhale, come through, open up that front chest. Let's all push back to a child's pose 
unless that doesn't feel good, drop your head. Mm. And snuggle into the body here. Send your hips back, back, back. Hands forward. Soften the elbows, soften the armpits. Send the breath all into the back body, especially, especially around that rib cage. Pull the belly in as you roll up to sit. Bring your knees together. Hands to the heart. Again, okay, so squeeze the corset of your middle. So squeeze your navel to your spine, pulling up from the pelvic floor, hands at the heart. You're gonna turn toward your right, separate your hands apart like a push-up, and place them on the floor. That's it. Just twist here, turning toward your right. Feeling this across the middle of the back, maybe lower back, the back of the psoas which I forget about all the time. And I'm always like, oh, that was a big part of my pain. So breathing across the back of the ribs, the back of the diaphragm. And then lift back up to center. Lift your chin to the sky. Let the tailbone go back. And then come into neutral, twist to your left, open up your hands like a push up, place them on the ground. That's it. You're just going to turn here toward your left. Breathe into your middle and lower back. You might feel it in the hips too, maybe that right hip. Engage deep in the abdominals, lift back up. Okay, grab your block and just put it under your bum. I just have it kind of here under my bum for now. I'm gonna come up onto my toes and um, you could put the block under your bum and sit in an active malasana where you're pushing your knees, your elbows into your knees and your knees into your elbows and working on lifting your head upright here. And you could lower the heels up and down. You could just work on that opening or bring your hands forward, raise the knees high to the armpits and start to come forward toward a crow, raising your feet up to your bum, belly in. And then lower back down onto your block, if you lift it up off it and take that, um, Malasana with a block there. Oh, hi. And maybe possibly your dog or cat there. You seem to see this as an invitation. Okay. Now leave your hips, leave your bum on there, and you're just going to turn your torso to the right, left hand outside of the right leg, reach to the back of the room with the right arm. Bring that arm down, come back to the center and twist to your left, right arm outside of the left leg, left arm opens to the back wall, or your back wall. Press knee into arm for more control, or the lever, Woo. and then back to the center. Okay, we're gonna sit on our bums. So sit on your bum and I'm just scooching so you can see. So like we did before, but just watch one time. Most of you have done this with me. So hands to the center. We're gonna, my heels, are, my toes are up. I'm gonna twist to my right. 
And you can just stay here, or you can <coughs> come down into that push up and lift the feet up. So the bone's still on the ground, but you bring your chest to the floor and chin to the floor and pick your feet up. So you're like a twisty mermaid. Come on back up. And then go the other way. Take your arms to the outside of your left leg. And you can stop here. You can go bend your elbows and bring your feet up. Leave your bum on the floor. Mm -hmm. That's it, that's it, that's it, good. Yep, good, and untwist. Now, <clears throat> come up on your feet into a squat. So we're gonna do that same thing, but with the option to have the bum and the feet up in twisting side crow. So you're gonna bring your left elbow outside your right leg. You could just stay here and balance in a, like with your hands in prayer, which is plenty fun, or bring your hands to the ground in a wide push-up position like before, and then lift your feet up, except now your bum is up too, and you hover. Nice. And then come through the center. Let's give our wrists a break. You're gonna roll out your wrists. So we're lotus rolling the wrists, backs the hands together, dredge the fingers through the mud, come out a beautiful flower. Flex the fingers back towards you, the wrist away from you and stretch that forearm, underside of the forearm. and other side. Yep. Swiveling to the center, you're going to take your right elbow outside your left leg. Palms can press and maybe stay here. This is great. Or take the hands wide on the floor and start to think about the balance. Usually you have to come forward more than you think. And then you lift your feet up. I'm definitely cheating by propping on my left elbow. I don't always do that, but I did it just now. Um, and that give, makes it a little easier because you're propped up on your elbow. And the feet hover. Good. And when you're ready, come back to the center and fold forward over your legs. Take your hands, fold them below your feet, palms face up, toes smother the wrists. So you're really smushing your hands and getting a wrist stretch. Inhale, heart moves forward, sits bones back. And maybe this is where you stay. Maybe this is where you're getting the most out of it. Or you fold forward. This really is a great pose for purple tunnel where you're pulling the forearms out of the wrist and making space. Let the head go. It's also great for arthritic fingers. You're just putting pressure in there, getting some circulation in there. <sighs> Shoulder blades slide up toward butt. Of course, it's a hamstring stretch and you want to engage your abdominals as well. Slide the hands out from underneath the feet. Toe heel your feet together. Round the back. Hips are under as you slowly, slowly take your time. When As you rise to stand, lift your shoulders up by your ears. Slide them back and down. Chest is open. Palms are open. Stand in Tadasana. Stand in your power here. Nice and strong. Rooted to the earth. And from these roots, you can feel an ability to rise, to stand strong and tall. Blinking the eyes open, inhale, raise the arms up, bend the knees, and you'll cross your right leg over your right into eagle. And maybe your right arm goes underneath the left, 
or you can hold opposite shoulder if this is too tight for these shoulders. Bend that standing leg and let the elbows travel up by the face. Start to sit a little deeper with the hips while staying as upright as you can in the torso. You'll feel a nice abdominal engagement. Now we're gonna move here, lifting that right knee up toward the chest. We're gonna tip our wings forward and send that right leg back, flying eagle here. And then we're gonna bring the hands down toward the floor, unwrap those wings and standing slit, right leg goes high. Let that head drop low. We're gonna step back into a long warrior two with that left foot forward. Come on up, open here. Warrior two, reach forward with that left arm. Reverse warrior, stretch that left side. Look up to the um, left bicep and breathe. Rainbow the arms, bringing left fingertips down outside the left foot. Right arm rainbows overhead. Look up to that arm, reach. And then turn toward the mat, hands come down, step it back, plank. You can lower the knees if it's too much or just hold nice and strongly here, feeling your core engage. From here, bend the right elbow down, left elbow down, come onto the forearms. And either stay here, that's better for you, or do a couple rounds of straightening the arms and then coming back down. Leading with the right arm each time. Straighten and lower. And I'm gonna end here on the forearms. Hold and breathe. Ankles toward wrist, wrist toward ankles. Lower the pelvis super slowly down to the mat. Move your elbows just slightly forward so they're just in front of the shoulders and pull into this nice sphinx. Ooh. And slowly roll down. Take your hands behind you, regular lacing. Interlace the fingers, rest them on your sacrum. Pointed feet, inhale. As you exhale, straighten those elbows and lift the chest and feet up off the ground. Here, squeeze the muscles in your back. Reach out through your toes. Squeeze. And slowly lower. Release your hands, pile them under your head, and turn your face to one side. Breathe into your back. Contract the muscles in the backs of the legs as you bend your knees. And then windshield wipe your feet from side to side, using this as a deep back massage. So use your interoception and feel what muscles need, want this massage here. The internal sensation. Bringing your face to the center and then turning it so the other cheek rests on the finger, on the hand. And center, extend your legs back behind you. Bring your hands under the, in line with the chest and prop up and then to down dog. Shake out the head, the neck, and enjoy your dog for a few moments. Ujjayi breathing, raising those arches up in the feet, proper alignment. Inhale, raise your heels, bend the knees, exhale, travel forward. Inhale, heart lifts, exhale, melts, folding over here. Inhale, rise, arms come up, 
Arms go out to the side, bend the knees, left leg over, left arm under, sinking into your eagle. Squeeze the legs as you raise those elbows. Find that crease in the hips, which will allow you to sink deeply here. Elbows up. Squeeze back arm into front arm or left arm into right arm. Start to unwrap that left leg as you tilt your wings forward, reach your left leg back. A sense of flying here. Tip further, fingers toward the ground, unwrap them and standing split here, head down, leg up. Lift it a little higher if it'll go. Good. Bend your standing leg. Take a nice big step back with that left leg. Warrior two. Right leg is forward, left leg back. Balance here between your legs. Spine is tall, chest open wide. Reach forward with that right arm. Flip the right palm up. Reverse warrior. Breathe into your right side as it stretches here. Contracting that left waist. Rainbow that right arm forward. Come onto your right fingertips or a block. Left arm over the ear. Bending that front knee. Side angle here. Left arm up and over. Left arm is up and over that top ear. Good. Good. Use your back foot a little more. Beautiful. Shoulders down more. Dolls. Good. Turn toward the floor. Left hand comes down and step back. Plank. Coming down onto your left forearm, right forearm, holding here, or working through that progression of straight arms. And you can do a few of these here, leading with the left arm, left hand, left side. Coming up and down. I'm going to do one more. You can do a few more if you want to. Coming down onto those forearms, holding here, squeezing the midline. Not squeezing the breath. Try to keep the breath flowing. Head forward, heels are back. Maybe you feel a shake. Feels good. And then slowly lower the hips to the mat. Walk your elbows forward so you're in that sphinx. Palms down, lift the heart through here. Slide those arms forward out in front of you. Forehead to the ground. Arms a little bit wide in a V. Lift your right hand and left foot. Head can stay down or be up. And lower. Left arm, right foot. And lower. Alternate here. Lifting and lowering. After you do the left side, left arm again, lift both up if you can, both arms. Bend those elbows like you're rowing and reach them forward. Legs are up too. Pull here, row, and extend. We'll do five, four, three, back body getting strong. We'll use those muscles too. Pull it down, squeeze it, lift it, and lower it. Good, roll to your right side. Right on your right arm, hips are stacked. Balancing here, make it a little bit rocky. By bending your elbow, hold your head, come up a little higher, and then pick up both of your feet. Balancing here, good, good, good. I think it's harder if you lower the ribs now. And then lower the head down, lower the feet down, bend both knees, interlace the hands behind the head. And we're just gonna lift the head and shoulders here for five, 
four, three, two, one. Lower the head down, feet stay together, lower and lift the left knee. Make sure your hips and shoulders are in a line and your legs are coming out. At a 90 degree angle, yeah. Lower and lift that left knee. Here are these little clamshells. Five, four, three, two. Leave that left leg up, hold it there. Engage your core. Hands go back behind the head. We're gonna take that right elbow to the left knee and down. So that left knee can come in, to meet the elbow halfway and down. You could extend that left leg all the way out if you wanted. 10, nine, Four, three, two, one, and then lay down here. Reach that left arm out to the side. Knees are stacked to the right, stacked ish. Nice deep twist. Just let it be. Feel that deep stretch across the lower rib cage, that diaphragm. Ah. <sighs> And then slowly roll toward your tummy. Take your time. Prop back up on those elbows, bend the knees, windshield right the feet. Conscientiously hear that. Don't overdo it. Meaning don't be too floppy. We're going to keep those hips, um, that glute needs, outer hips engaged. We're going to take a bow. So you're going to reach back to your feet, knees as wide as your hips, inhale. Breathe into your lower back to come up. Raise those feet up and massage all your organs. Rocking here like a little hobby horse for five, four, two, and lift it. Oh, and release down. It's like when you roll a lemon, it gets juicier. You like got it all moving. And then you're going to roll onto your left side and just hang out here, stacking it up. You can also prop up your head, try to balance, lifting your feet, resting the ribs on the floor, just holding here. One side is harder for me than the other. This is my harder side. I bet you get swung. And then come on down, lower the head. Just prop both hands under it as you bend both knees. And we're gonna lift here, chest toward the ceiling. Five, four, just getting a little engagement. Two, one, lower the head down. Feet stay together, toes stay together. Clamshells, raise that top leg up and down, keeping the big toes together. So you're on that swivel point. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, it and hold there. And you're going to bring that left elbow to the right knee and extend the right leg long or not. Lift elbow to knee. 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and scoot down to your back. <sighs> Get a bruiser right here. It's a little bit scary. Fingertips toward heels. Raise those hips up. Tuck the shoulders under, coming right into your bridge. Get your shoulders really strongly placed and your feet in a place where you feel confident and strong. Draw your right knee towards your chest, raise your right leg up. 
Bend the right knee to your chest, lower the right foot down, switching sides. Left leg, left knee in, left leg up, bend and lower. And you'll just switch from side to side and we'll do a few of these. Keep your tummy strong. After you're even on both sides, pull bridge, both feet down. You might feel really a lot of good back body stuff here. Enjoy. Scrunch up your toes a little bit to really maximize the glute work. And then relax your arms, widen the shoulders, and slowly make your way on down. Ah. Raise the arms overhead. Tip the tailbone away from you, arching in the cervical, the neck, and the lower back. And then lengthen the neck, push the lower back into the ground. Arching here, you'll feel a little curve in the back of the neck and pretty big curve probably in the lower back. And then imprint, lower back. If you'd like, then the elbows, place the hands by the temples, Temples, just by the temples and straighten arms and legs. Or just set yourself in a position for a wheel pose and push through the hands and feet without coming up. And maybe you raise the hips and mount as far as you go. See what feels right for you. Maybe you choose to stay down and rest. Gorgeous, gorgeous on your body. Way to stay true. When you're ready, bring it down. Good job. Toe heel your feet together and let the knees fall apart in Supta Baddha Konasana. Place one hand on your tummy and one on your heart. Take a deep breath. Open the mouth and let that breath go. <sighs> Opening here in that second chakra. Deep breath in and exhale to collective healing for our ancestors, for each other, for ourselves, our sexual energy, our creative energy, our playful youth, child energy, wherever we need the healing, or our ancestors, or our friends for our country, our different matrix, the different matrices in our life. The second chakra is one that collectively heals. It was interesting on Rosh Hashanah. Um, you do this thing where you like throw uh, bread in the ocean for the fish to eat your, your clearing sins. <laughs> and we do, you do it together. You don't go by, you can go by yourself, but it's like a group activity and you go, Together, they do this thing symbolically where like, you shake out the corners of your clothing and you shake out all the sins and you throw it in the water and the fish, I guess, recycle it for us. Thank you, fish. But anyway, that's not my point. My point is it's a collection, it's a collective healing. It's not like sequestered off. It's 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 acknowledging that um we heal together. The water thing is interesting too, because that's the area of the body, that second chakra is bladder, kidneys, which is which are our water element organs. Take another deep breath. And exhale. Hands come outside the legs and close the legs slowly. Draw the knees up to the chest. Make sure your low back feels okay. So just check in with the low back. It may feel a little bit tender. If that's the case, you may want to take a supported bridge or we're going to move to shoulder stand next. If you want props, um, gather them. If you want, you can go to a wall and just take your legs up the wall. Or use your block 
to take a supported shoulder stand with the hips up on the block and open the chest or full shoulder stand coming into a plow, walking your shoulders under. And then elevating up, lifting the legs and holding the back. I really believe, and I think I have proof, that this reverses the aging to some extent. I find when I don't do it, I, I start looking older faster. I think it's really, really, really helpful. And if you're wondering where to put your focus, it goes to the toes. Gaze softly at the toes. All that good life force energy. If you think about it like, a, like an hourglass, the sand that you've used up that's down at the bottom gets recycled in these inversions. You get the sand moving again that life force energy. Maybe like if reincarnation, if there's like a reincarnation like hug, this is how you let them know you're ready. You're like, I'm ready to go back. You get in the position. If you're in shoulder stand, lower the knees and come back to plow. You can bring the knees around the head and even cross the ankles to make it kind of cozy as you squeeze your head. And this is a variation of Yoga Nidrasana, which is like a sleeping yogi. Just like make your own little hammock. We find it extremely comfortable and sedative. Sedative? Sedative? <laughs> Some, something in there. We're going to come down and bring it into a fish variation. So come on down nice and slowly, carefully. And the fish variation could be anything where your chest is open. It can be more extreme where you bring your hands under your butt, open your chest, and rest on the crown of the head. It could be bridge pose. It could just be a pose where you feel your shoulders rolled open and shoulder blades on your back. If you're taking this variation of your chest wide in a back bend, you think of the heart as light and being lifted as though through the chest, like this gorgeous, beautiful jewel, shining and shining and lifting you up in its beauty. It's radiance glowing, filling your energy field with that beauty as well. Push down through the elbows, slowly, carefully lower to your head. Grab hold of your head and make sure it feels okay. You're gonna just hold the head from the back and turn carefully using your hands, not your neck muscles. Just giving your head a nice ride. Don't get yourself dizzy. And then lift your head up so you can see yourself. Are you aligned? Legs are nice and wide apart, as wide as your mat. Make sure you're in a somewhat of a you know organized position here. And then you'll lower your head down, centering it. And slide your shoulder blades onto your back. Roll legs and arms in and out and use your props skillfully so that you feel comfy, supportive. Take a deep breath in, and exhale. Good job. Two more like that. Take a deep breath in, and exhale. Breathe in.
Habit of thinking is so strong. The habit of self is so powerful. If you need it, you can give yourself a mantra, perhaps sat down. Give the mind a little friend until it's able to let go. Goes tired of the mantra. Let it and ride that wave into a still point. As we return to the breath, keep honoring the stillness. Know that it is always there, that it was created by you, and that it is there to come back to throughout day, your day, even when there's movement and a lot going on. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Wiggle your fingers and toes and breathe in. As you exhale, reach the arms and yawn and stretch and move in a way that feels like you're coming back online, but in a way that honors that discovery of stillness, of center. And when we roll to the side you want, and then you'll press directly up to a seat. Once you've settled into your seat and aligned your spine, come back to that stillness. See if you can locate it and from this position.
raise the arms overhead. Connecting to spirit, to nature, to God, however you think of something greater than you, palms come together. Slide the hands down to the heart, bringing your prayer from your heart out into the world through your voice. One arm together now. Ooh. Sharing the message of your heart with the message or to your mind, your own mind, which has its own messaging. You want to bring them together. Let the mind know how sacred your prayer is. Bowing forward, honoring one another, all beings, yourself. Thank you for practicing today. Thank you for coming together. Thank you for bringing your energy, your spirit, and your animals. Um, love. And I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Hey, Luigi. Good morning, Luigi. Good morning, Luigi. Good morning, Luigi. Good morning, midnight and lavender. And all of you. Oh, you're trying to get. Okay, bye, guys.